Well, you think I'll as well. Uh, we've been going this last couple of years. It's, uh, We loved it so much that we went and bought one. This is it here, and we cannot wait to use it in the winter because it's just a, such a good product when we used it. Um, and it just makes our lives so much easier in the winter as we don't have to do the brush the beds and put sawdust on them. This is it, and we will be using it soon. So a few videos ago we got the, um, the brush and better thing for the cubicles and yeah, we loved it so much that we went and bought our own. So yeah, this is the Ag Duo um, brush and um, sawdust dispenser. So yeah, we'll just walk around it. So we have here our brush. Um, on a wee arm then we also have our which is controlled by here so this is the control so if you push this up the brush will go up and if you push it down the brush will go down so that'll be about the height we'll be going at for our cubicles then the next thing is to turn it on so there you go brush is going turn it off and then this thing here well, I'll show you this bit first. This bit here, um, if you pull this, the sawdust at the bottom, it will allow sawdust to go through from the tub and go on to the belt. So the belt is controlled by this, this button here. You pull this up and it will spin, allowing sawdust to come out. And then you've got this one here. And if I turn this one on, we might have a little bit of an accident because this stuff will get chopped up. So we'll take this out. And you put this bit up and it will turn, mixing the whatever you want to mix. So we're, we'll be mixing lime and sawdust together. Then you've also got your battery. How many? How much battery life you have left and then to turn to go forward you push this forward and then you push your way um lever then to go back you just push it back so yeah that's the ag duo sawdust and brusher we did a test in here just to see how it went how it went and yeah it's absolutely brilliant it did it really well and as you can see, these are nice, they just need a bit of sawdust on. But we won't give that because it's not winter and the cows aren't dead. But yeah, it works really well. It is the 19th of November today, nearly three months since we got the new machine. And um, I'm going to show you what it's like on the cubicles during winter. I'm just about to bed the cubicles here, or brush and bed the cubicles with um, our new machine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the brush and then the brush will brush all this dirt and poo and um, yeah, all that dirty stuff off the beds. Um, the reason why we do not do the bed the cubicles and brush them at the same time is because we prefer to do it in two runs and um, if that makes sense because we just find it easier and we're not putting loads of sawdust in one place and then forgetting to turn it off and then having it somewhere where we don't want the sawdust to be so that's why we do it um the brush first and then the sawdust so yeah
do I wear a mask? Yes, I do, because it does get very dusty in here when you're scraping, and especially when you're bedding the beds. I finished bedding up all of the um, cubicles, and I'm now just going to talk about the positives and the negatives of this machine. So I would say this is 95% positives. Um, what we like, brilliant, takes about 80% less time. It's just so, so quick, um, even more than 80 maybe. And um, it's electric, so you don't have to push it. Um, the brush brushes it really well. Or one, or well, my, what I think, um, or what I don't like about it, um, not what I don't like about it, um, just I wish, or I think that could be, my opinion could be changed for the better, is the, um, you do have to go quite quickly to distribute, distribute um, the sawdust on evenly. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Also, make sure to like and subscribe as we want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Bye.